Hey everyone, so today I thought I'd share with you a little bit on ethical trade and why I truly believe it's a massive part to play in business for us at Swanky Socks, but then also for any other business, whether you're a startup or multinational organization. We're gonna look at a few key points, starting at one, how to find an ethically traded factory. Number two, how to ensure they're actually running ethically. Number three, what to look out for when it comes to documentation and certification. And number four, why I truly believe Swanky Socks are leading by example on a global scale when it comes to ethical trade. Now, there are a couple of key organizations. We focus on CEDEX and BSCI. These organizations are based out of Europe and will come and audit your factory on a one to two year basis. They'll look at key things like the staff uh, ages, um, which work in within that factory, number two, the wages in which they're being paid, and number three, the environment in which they're actually working in. Do they have lighting, fire exits, um, clear, clean air within that environment, and even kitchen facilities? Now, these organizations will grade you on a scale, usually A, B, C, D, and it's up to you within that factory to actually meet those requirements um, and maintain them throughout that one to two year period. The second point is ensuring that your factory is actually running ethically after they've been certified and audited. Now, it's pretty hard to do, but you have to have trust in your factory, and that's only really going to come from a relationship built over time. Uh, for us as a company, we have the right to actually go overseas and audit our factory unannounced, which is something we hold really, really important. Um, so ensuring that trust is there and communication is happening regularly is just something that can really help ensure that your factory is keeping up to those standards that BSCI and CEDEX both want um, in order to maintain those global regulations. The third key point is what to actually look out for uh, when it comes to certification and documentation around CEDEX and BSCI. Now, when I first started Swanky Socks, I was using platforms like Alibaba. I was basing everything on trust and seeing a piece of uh, documentation that had a name and a factory on it, but I didn't actually know where my products were actually made. And it's not until you go overseas and you build that trust of the factory that you really understand uh, what is actually required. But the key thing to look at is the name on the factory audit form versus the factory you're actually working with, ensuring they align with each other. Number two is looking at the expiration date. And as I mentioned, CEDEX and BSCI are both usually over a one to two year period. So ensuring that the expiration date is valid um, because it's very easy for a factory to lose focus over that period and lose track of where they should be in terms of um, keeping those standards to a high level um, on a global scale. So focusing on those two little key components can have a massive impact on how you see yourself as a brand and ensuring that you are CEDEX or BSCI accredited. Lastly guys, as you can see, you can really understand now why I truly believe ethical trade is a massive part of business and why it's a huge part of the identity of Swanky Socks as a brand. Um, being able to have the ability to go and audit our factory unannounced and having the understanding of who CEDEX and BSCI are and what the process is involved around being audited and certified are massively important. So hopefully this has given you a little bit of an insight into ethical trade, why it is important to us, and why it should also be important to you as a startup or a multi multinational organization. It's very easy to turn a blind eye to this sort of stuff, but for me as a company owner, I would always want my staff to be working in a safe and clean environment, and that goes right back to the start of the chain where the product is actually being made.